All right. Thanks, Amanda. Hey, guys. So like Amanda said, my name is Nikki Voles. I am currently an ADK uh, with the company. And I have been in hmm, five months, I think, something around in there. Let me, I have to do some math. Four or five months, somewhere around in there. Um, but that's not why I'm here tonight. I am here tonight to share with you guys because um, you know, my team is exploding with free promoters. I'm sure that if you're a leader on here, your team is exploding with free promoters and, you know, free promoters have a special place in my heart. And the reason is, is because you would not become a free promoter. If you didn't need the money, you would not say, yes, I want to uh, be a promoter or, you know, try to try to get a package or try to go for these bonuses. You wouldn't have anything to do with Lavelle if you didn't want to be successful here. Um, and so I just, like I said, I have a very special place in my heart for free promoters. Um, and the reason is, is because like Amanda said, um, I've been in network marketing for five years, you guys. So, um, when you hear that I've been here for five months and I'm an 80 K, I don't want you to look at that and think, Oh my gosh, well, I'm just a free promoter. I haven't even bought my package yet. Don't think about that because that's not why I'm here to talk to you guys. I'm here to take you back five years of, in my life. Uh, this time of year, exactly this time of year, five years ago, we had just got done losing our second car within 12 months to repossession. Um, and we had, um, we, I was probably give me like two weeks to the day and I was receiving a letter from my bank saying you have X amount of days to pay this, this, and this, or we are taking your home. We're foreclosing. There is no go around. There is no any more extensions. There's nothing else that we can do for you. We are going to foreclose on your house. And at this point in my life, you guys, um, I was a stay at home mom of three. My youngest was one at the time. Um, he's now six and a half. Um, my husband worked out of town all throughout the week as a subcontractor. So he was gone all week long. So I was basically kind of like a single mom throughout the week dealing with three kids. Um, we homeschooled also. Um, so, but money was very tight this time of year. It was 2012. Um, my husband had a great job and for whatever reason that year, the weather was bad. The economy started taking another dip. Um, the jobs were not coming in like they, they had been okay. He had been with that job for a long time. Um, in fact, he started as a crew member and then became a crew leader. So, um, he actually became a boss with that job and we just didn't have the work to give anybody. We couldn't pay people. Um, he wasn't getting paid. And so they would drive like hours, they would drive states away to go do jobs and then it would rain all week and they'd have to drive home with no money. So it was like all the expenses of being in a hotel and gas and food and everything with no income. Plus you're trying to take care of a family. Um, so I was, well, some people say, well, why don't you just go get a job? You know, um, I knew in my heart of hearts that, you know, I had prayed about what to do. And I knew that homeschooling was what we needed to do at that time in, in, in our lives. And so when I say that I came from nothing, guys, we were on food stamps. If we didn't have food stamps, we would not have food in our house. I am so very grateful that the government gives people who really need it those benefits because we did not abuse the system. Like we literally, like my kids didn't do snacks. They didn't do extras. Okay. If you guys can relate to what I'm saying, put something in the comments because I can see the chat um, pop up on my screen. So if you need this to work for you, put me. I need this to work for me. Um, I want to see that if that you need this to work for you, because what I wanted to share with you guys is where I came from and what the power of network marketing can do for you. And being that I had lost two cars to repossession within um, 12 months, uh, we were driving a borrowed vehicle. We were driving my mother-in-law's car that had no radio. The windows didn't roll down. The doors didn't lock. Um, it had no headliner in the top. Like, it sounded like it was going to fall apart at any given moment. Um, but that's what we had to drive. And that's what we drove because we lost our cars. We could not pay for them. We literally could not pay the bills. Um, upon praying about my financial situation, which if you guys are in the same kind of situation or similar to where I was five years ago, 
um, put an emoji or, you know, something in a one, I guess I can see them pop up in the chat section. So, um, anyways, you guys, what I'm trying to explain to you is you would not be here if you didn't need this to work for you. And when you are destitute and when you are, um, in a position where you need something to work and you need some income coming in, you get one of two choices. You can sit there and make excuses and say, there's two types of broke people. There's this type, which is gonna sit there and make excuses and say, nobody's gonna buy these products. I can't do this. Uh, nobody's gonna join my team. Everybody I've talked to has said no. Um, there's that kind of person or, you know, and they're going to just say, woe is me. It works for everybody else, but me. Right. Okay. There's that kind of person. And if that's you at this moment, that's okay. My hope is that by the end of this conversation, that you are going to be the second type of broke person. Okay. The second type of broke person is the person that I was. Did I have those days where I was like, life sucks. I'm never going get, to get out of food stamps and WIC and I'm never going to be able to pay my bills. I'm never going to have money. Did I have those days? Absolutely. Absolutely. I did. Um, do I still have bad days? Absolutely. You know, there are days where I'm just like, nothing goes my way. You know, the whole, we all have days like that. Okay. Um, then the second type of broke person is the person that I was deep down inside. And I fully believe that deep down inside, you are this same kind of person. You may have to dig a little deeper. It might not be on the surface, but I fully believe that every single person here is, has this spirit inside of them. And that type of broke person is the one that says, you know what? I'm a force to be reckoned with. I may not have the money to do this right now, but I'm going to daggum find a way because I am worth it. My family is worth it. My bills are worth it. My future is worth it because I know that God did not put me on this earth to barely pay bills, to live paycheck to paycheck and not change my life or anybody else's because you guys broke people cannot help broke people. They can't, they really truly can't. And, um, when you have a heart for helping people or, you know, you want to be able to give back to your community or to your neighbor or to your kids, how bad do you want, if you have kids, how bad do you want to give your kids the world? They ask you, my kids couldn't even get a pack of gum from the grocery store. We didn't do pizza nights. We didn't do ice cream with the baseball team. We didn't do any of that stuff. I didn't pay my water bill to just sign my son up for baseball. Okay. So it was things like that. Um, we didn't have extras at all. There wasn't even like paycheck to paycheck. It was like paycheck to like, which come on, came on Friday to like Tuesday. Okay. And then we had all those days of eating like whatever was, you know, whatever food stamp money we had left. I used to go through the grocery store and I could tell you exactly where things were how much the generic pricing was compared to, you know, the, the name brand pricing, what was the best deal. I used to get run, walk through the grocery store with a calculator, like, you know, having to calculate every single thing. I had a, uh, like a menu list of everything I needed. And, you know, it was just stuff like that because there wasn't, you couldn't just like go throw a four pack of butter into your, grocery cart. You just couldn't do that. I mean, you just, you could not do things like that. You couldn't buy Welch's grape juice. You know, you probably didn't even get, we didn't even probably get grape juice, you know? Um, and, and sometimes it depended on what we were going to eat through the, that week. Okay. So, um, you know, what I'm trying to tell you is that you get to be broke person type one, or you get to be broke person type two. And if you deep down somewhere inside, believe in your heart of hearts that you can change your life and you are determined, you're going to do whatever it takes to change your family's life. Then I need you to say I'm number two, or I want to be number two. And we're going to talk about that because when I joined the last company that I was with, um, I pre-sold to get into that company because I didn't have the money to join. We didn't have a free option like we do here. Okay. What we have here, what you guys have here is a massive, massive gift because with my last company, um, you had to pay to get into the company, which is typical, you know, but 
that put a damper on, you know, me trying to get in. So I had to get creative and think, okay, I am not going to tell my kids no anymore. I am sick to death of telling my kids, nope, we can't go to have a dollar ice cream with the baseball team. Nope, we can't do pizza party. Nope, we can't do this kind of birthday party. No, we can't do this. No, we can't do that. I was so tired of telling my kids no all the time. Now I get to tell them no because they don't need to be spoiled brats. They need to be told no all the time. But it's not because I have to anymore because I don't have money in the bank account, okay? So I had to get creative and I had I pre-sold to get into that business. We're going to talk about pre-selling to get your kit into this business. We're going to talk about that. But I got my butt to work. And you know what I didn't do? I had a lot of people in my life tell me no. My husband told me no. He told me not to spend another dime. He told, and I didn't, I promised him I would never spend a dime. And to this day, I never spent a dime on that previous business. My monthly overhead was always pre-sold. Um, my paycheck covered, I got my paycheck grown, grown. I grew my paycheck to cover all of my product that I needed. I never spent a dime out of that checking account because you know what? I knew that I needed to make a change for my family and I wasn't going to put my family into a bind or a situation where I couldn't do it. Okay. Um, so his family told me no. In fact, his family sometimes would go around town telling people, Oh, don't buy product. That's crap. You can go get vitamins at the store and all this other stuff. Okay. So they were working against me in my own little town. Um, I live in a town of 1900 people. Okay. So don't give me that. I live in a small town. Nope. I, w I became a multiple six figure earner in a, in a town of 1900 people because of the power of network marketing and social media. Okay. I'm going to teach you guys how I did that. Um, my family, nobody in my family, except for my aunt, um, supported me. Okay. And she didn't even support me up front. It was like way down the road, like years down the road. Okay. So I had zero support from my closest circle of friends and family members. All right. Did I let that stop me? I could have, because you know what? I would say that 90% of people that get into network marketing, let the five closest people, the five people closest to them dictate their, their journey. And I want you to think really quickly with me right now. If your house was stripped away along with your family. Like you came home one day, you went to the store, you went to work and you came home and your house was like taped up. You couldn't go in it and your family was missing. Nobody had cell phones. You like had zero contact. And there was one singular note out there to you. And it said, Hey, Natalie, Hey, Crystal, Hey, Jody, Hey, Kayla, Hey, Sammy, Hey, Stephanie, Eva, Taylor. I'm just kind of flipping through here. It says that, and it says, you will not get your house back or your family back if you don't do X, Y, and Z. Okay. You don't go VIP 800. All right. You guys, how hard would you work to get that done? Like, would you say, ah, if it happens, it happens? Or would you like make sure it was done that night? I mean, I'm literally asking, like, what would you do? What would you do if everything that was closest and most meaningful to you was stripped from you at this very moment and you had to go VIP 800 or VIP 1600 to get everything that was closest to you back? Would you do it? Yes or no? Would you work hard and make sure that it was done? Because what you're doing, if you're not saying and standing up and looking yourself in the mirror and saying, you know what, gosh darn it, my life might suck right now. And what is in front of me, what is in front of me is really bad. Okay. My situation is really bad, but you know what? I believe more in myself than I believe in that situation. And I'm going to make sure that I get this done because you know what? My family is worth this. My family is worth an extra $500 a month. My family is worth that $800 in bonuses. My family is worth, and right now until the end of October, you guys, the extra thousand dollars. It's free. It's a thousand dollars. If you go VIP 1600 by October 31st from our team, it's our, it's our private team. Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, gift challenge 
promotion. Okay. Um, what would $1,800 do for you? Because essentially if you're a free promoter on this with me right now, you can make an extra $1,800 in just bonuses by October 31st, just for going VIP 1600. And if you're a free promoter, gosh, darn it, you guys need this. Am I right? So you have to believe in yourself more than you believe in your situation. You have to look your kids in the eye or look yourself in the eye, look your husband or wife in the eye, look whatever, if you're married or your kids or whatever, look yourself in the eye and think, what am I worth? My life is not going to keep going down this path. I have the power to change it with this company. And you guys do, you have the power to change it. So what are we going to do? Like Amanda said before, I think she even started recording, but, um, two weeks ago, you guys, um, I pre-sold an $800 kit in one day. Pre-sold. I didn't go into my bank account and just go buy the $800 kit. I pre-sold that in one day. All right. One day. So don't tell me that you can't go out there and find six to eight people so that you can get the $100 kit plus the $50 DFTs or the $200 kit um, with eight people. Don't tell me you guys can't do that because you can. And if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I've talked to everybody, nobody wants it, guess what? You need to talk to more people because more people are going to tell you no than tell you yes. That is just the way that the world works, okay? Um, and it's the way that network marketing works. It's the way that business works. Um, think about all the stores that you walk into and, um, you know, you walk in and you browse around and then you walk out and you don't buy anything, okay? Think of that. Also think about um, a diner, okay? You have the, um, the server who walks around with the, um, the, pit, the pot of coffee. And let's say that you're out with eight of your friends and every one of you ordered coffee and she comes over and she says, may I refill your cup for you? Let's say three of you say yes. Um, three of you say yes, but the rest of you say no. Okay, well, three said yes but um, five said no. So you got more no's than you had yeses, but that waitress, that server, she doesn't go and like throw her coffee pot down on the counter, take her apron off and tell her manager she quits because she got five no's out of eight people. All right. So you have to think of your business as you're a server with coffee. Some will, some won't, who cares what's next. Okay. Um, so, you're a free promoter. What are we going to do? The best thing about Lavelle is that, um, okay, I'm going to get to questions in just a second. The best thing about Lavelle is that you are able to get the VIP 800 and 1600 bonuses without ever purchasing a package. And I have some really special guests on tonight that you're going to hear from in just a second who actually did this, who actually went VIP 800 without a package, without a kit. And, um, you can do that. So is your personal testimony the most powerful thing in the world? Yes, absolutely. But you know what's even more powerful is that we have the Lavelle Facebook fan page that's full of tens of thousands of testimonies that's going to match somebody in your life, okay? So there's a couple ways that you can do this. You can go to your closest friends and family members and you can share what Thrive is and what Thrive does. I personally still use that three minute video that pops up on your website. You go, you guys are free promoters. You have a website, go to your website that you chose, which is your username dot l e dash v e l dot com and if you don't know what it is if you don't know what you created ask the person that signed you up to please log in and look for you and they can give it to you um, but you're going to log in and when you go to your website there's a little video in the middle of the screen um, that says what is thrive i send that to everybody when they ask me what it is the first thing i do is i tell i share my testimony but if you ha don't have a testimony if you've not tried a three-day sample then you have that you have, it tells you exactly what the thrive experience does. Okay. Your first goal is to try to pre-sell an upgrade package. You guys get an upgrade package, get these three day minis in people's hands, ask people, Hey, look, I'm going to give you a $5 credit, a $5 discount. If you'll, you know, if you want to try the thrive experience with me, it's for three days. And if you're not sure how to word it, you guys, you have amazing uplines, get people on three-way messages and on three-way calls. Um, I can't tell you the power of that. If you're trying to work your business all by yourself, you're going to fail. 
you will. You're going to fail. I I have Amanda get on three-way calls for me quite often. Um, the other day when I was pre-selling that $800 kit, she was on like, I don't even know. No, it was after I pre-sold the $800 kit. Um, I had her on like five three-way calls in one day <laughs> with people who wanted to try three-day minis. Um, there is power in that. Another thing that's powerful is tomorrow night, you guys, every single week on Thursdays, we have an online event and you get to invite, you get, don't mess and don't mess and don't just go down through there and invite, 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 invite. You need to send a, a nice message or put on your Facebook, hey, I have a private VIP event. You're going to have multiple chances to, um, to earn or win a three-day trial of the Thrive Experience. Um, you know, if people ask questions, tell them you're going to private message them and then ask your upline to help with conversation. That's what I tell my team all the time. I'm like, don't try to answer these questions by yourself. Ask for help, put them in your group chat, ask your sponsor, send them a message, you know, let them give you, I literally give my people the responses and what to say back to somebody. If they, you know, that's how I, that's how I teach my people. I mean, that's how I was taught. I was taught um, you know, what to say when I came over here to this company, I probably bothered Amanda like all day long. I know I did uh, not a probably, I know I bothered her all day long <laughs> and I would ask her, okay, Hey, this person asked, uh, wants to know about this, you know, and she would give me the answer and I would go back and re relay that answer to that person because you know what? The best part is that this is a team effort and you don't have to ever do it alone ever, ever, ever. So on Thursday nights, we have online parties, invite people to that. It's going to speak to somebody. Okay. You're going to, they're going to get to hear from different people's thrive experiences live on a video. They're going to get to win a three day experience. The key is to get three day minis in people's hands. Okay. Now, um, how do we go VIP 800? It's two customers that purchase on auto ship and two promoters. Um, most of you guys probably know that. Um, and it's promoters that purchase an upgrade package. But like I said, there's broke person number one and there's broke person number two. Broke person number one says, nobody's gonna pay that kind of money. Nobody wants to, wants to buy these products. Well, guess what? If you were to go out there and survey 100 people, uh, like the family feud, but if you were gonna go survey 100 people right now and say, do you need more energy, more mental clarity, more mood support, more appetite control, want to lose weight, and just overall feel better, yes or no to any of those things, I can almost guarantee you 100 out of 100 are going to say yes, okay? So they're going to say yes. So um, I'm going to let my guests share how they went VIP 800 with no package because um, I feel like their stories are going to be more powerful, but let me quickly answer this question or see if there's a question, what that question was. Um, how do you get them to buy products if you can't get the products to be your walking billboard? Shared other stories, not sure what else to try. You need to get people on the weekly party. You need to um, go live on your Facebook page. Yes, you need to go live. And here's the thing. This is what I've, Amanda um, and a lot of the leaders have been doing with our teams is um, they will ask me, hey, Nikki, do you have time to go live at 7 p.m.? Um, I want to do a welcome video. And you go live on your page. And then, you know, Facebook has that great feature now where you can, um, you guys have seen it, where they're side by side or the other person's in the corner and you invite people on, what you're going to do is just introduce your upline and let them share. And you're going to work to try to pre-sell those minis. And you guys, if you have 200 friends on your Facebook, you need to add more people. Okay. You need to add people while you're out. Um, you need to add people. I did not start network marketing with 3000 friends. Um, I don't even think I started network marketing with 300 friends on my Facebook. I had a very small private Facebook um, and I have over the five years, oops, sorry, my phone rang, um, over the five years, I have, um, grown my network, um, to over 3000 people. So I do that by getting in groups. No, I don't blast my product. I don't blast the business. Um, I literally get in there and meet people. That's important that you're just making friends. You guys have to build relationships. People have to know that they can trust you and your word. Um, that's how you do it. So 
you got to get rid of the stinking thinking. Okay. And I'm just, I'm just telling you guys, you guys want to know how to build your business. That's why you're on here. You have to get rid of stinking thinking. If you have a negative mindset where, and I know, trust me, I know when you are in a financial destitute situation, that's normal to have that kind of mindset. You have to get on YouTube. Um, a good book is what to say when you talk to yourself. Um, see if you guys can find that. It's so cheap. I think I want to say it was like $4 or something, but if you can't afford that, get on YouTube. You need to do, um, I am, uh, what do they call those? Like daily affirmations, positive affirmations, motivational speakers, listen to something that's going to motivate you. Stop listening to, um, you know, the radio and start listening to things that are filling your head with, um, powerful um, uplifting, um, things. And the reason is, is because if you in your head believe that anything is possible and you can do anything, you're going to do it. But you guys have to realize that you can be successful. You can do this, whether you buy a package or you don't buy a package, you can do this. It's how bad do you want it? Go back to that scenario of, you have no home and no family. How bad do you want it? Who are you going to talk to? What are you going to do to get it done? And when you have that kind of mindset, that was me. I did not want my kids to be without a home. My home was nothing fancy. It was a double wide trailer, but I did not want to have my, let my kids go without a house. That was a roof over their head. I did not want them to not have somewhere to live. Okay. Could I have gone and gotten an apartment? Probably. But, um, my apartment probably would have cost more than my house payment. I'm just being honest, but I did not want my kids to not have somewhere to lay their heads at night and to come home to, you know, if we went over to their granny's house, I never wanted them to not have that. And I didn't want to feel like that failure either, that I couldn't do something to fix it. So you have to do something to fix your situation. It's how bad do you want to do it? Because if you're going to make an excuse for the person that lives three doors down for you, oh, they're not going to buy it. They don't want it. You don't know them. You don't know what's in their bank account and you don't know how bad they feel. Um, that's the one thing is that if you know somebody that goes out to eat and gets their hair done and gets their nails done, then you know somebody that's going to buy their products. How many times do you walk in the gas station and people are buying Red Bulls and Monsters and Rockstars, um, packs of cigarettes or pop and sodas and things like that? It's every day, you guys, every day. How many people buy vitamins? Everybody. I mean, most people do. Um, so, you know, that's the thing is that you have to get down to where it is so important that you change your situation, that you actually do it. Because if the first thing that comes out of your mouth is an excuse for somebody that's not you, guys, don't make excuses for other people. Don't say nobody's going to buy this. There's, um, Amanda, you may have to correct me, but I think that when Duo was launched, we did $7 billion, $7 million, not billion, $7 million in like the first day. Yeah. It was 7.5 million. Mm -hmm. In one day, you guys. And, and I'm just going to warn you guys now, because some, I've seen people comment about, um, you know, if we're going to know the price, I'm estimating, I'm just going to say a safe bet. It looks like there's like 14 packs, maybe. Um, I'm going to say, huh? Like. That's what it looked like on the, on the picture. Yeah. On the picture, it looked like there was 14 packs. I'm going to say that it's probably right around the same price as the lifestyle mix. Um, just that's what my guess is. It might be surprisingly lower. Um, I wouldn't be surprised though if it was about the same price as the lifestyle mix. It might even be a little bit more. I don't know yet. Um, but I can tell you, I want you guys to be prepared that it's going to sell out very, very quickly. Um, I would be surprised if it doesn't sell out. That's a supply and demand. I mean, we have tons, guys, of people that are ready to order, you know, tons of customers, tons of promoting, and it is literally a supply and demand situation. Um, I also want to warn you that the computer will crash and you won't be able to place your order. Um, I want to warn you that that's because everybody's going to the server all at the same time. I want you to um, know, don't wait until the evening time. I mean, honestly, if you were at work, go and take a lunch or go to the 
bathroom and place your order. Um, because yeah. if it sells out, we don't know how long it's going to take before it's back. Um, yeah. it, it could it, be like a, several days. I I'll say. be honest. I had had so many people that wanted to get duo on the pre-launch day. Um, that I literally, I ordered 10 of those suckers. <laughs> um, I ordered 10 of them because yeah. I knew that I didn't want to run out and I didn't want, I wanted to be able to, um, utilize them as prizes and so forth. Um, yeah. but yeah, I, and I was in Nashville at the time. So I actually had to call my bank cause my bank wasn't letting me place the order and it was complete chaos and I couldn't get on. My Wi-Fi was horrible. I couldn't get on the internet. So I just want you guys to be prepared because when you're prepared for that kind of thing to happen and I can tell you the day that um expand came out it like blew up um the day that the watermelon activate came out it was I mean anytime you have a launch of a new product you are going yeah. to see the websites backed up you're going to see sometimes it sell out of stock you're going to see all those things so if you prepare for that ahead of time you can be ready but I can tell you guys I'm really excited about this product I think it's going to be really cool um I'm especially excited that it's it's not like I don't know. I miss my coffee. <laughs> Me um, too. Yeah. So I, I'm really excited about just the taste and the experience of it. And if it helps reduce my cravings, that's even better. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty pumped about that. I'm pretty pumped about that, but well, okay. okay, I can let you keep talking. No, no, you're good. My theory is that you guys have to remember Starbucks is like, Starbucks, they're known all over the world because people are addicted to caffeine. They're addicted to something that's going to give them a little boost of energy. So if you have in your mind, no one is going to, you're wrong. And I don't mean that in like a really mean way. I mean that because you're, you may just not be talking to the right circle of people. You can't keep talking to the same five, 10 people in your life and expect them to do something. Now, with that being said, VIP 800, you can call in some favors a lot of times and say, look, I need you to help me out. Will you help me? Will you support me? I really think that you're going to love this. I know you're going to love this. You can call in some favors, okay? I've had a lot of people do that. A lot of people call in favors um, to go VIP 800. A friend, a cousin, a sister, an aunt, you know, a coworker, uh, whatever. Okay. Their spouse, look, try it for a month. Okay. Um, but that's the thing is that you can call in some favors. Um, a lot of times if you can't, then you are like me. Um, still, I, I still, I don't know that I have hardly any family members thriving with me here. Um, maybe three, at the most, I'd have to literally go look. Um, I don't think I really have, besides myself and my husband, my mother-in-law does and my niece does. And I think that's it as far as family goes with thriving with me. Um, I might be wrong. I may have to go like, I might kick myself for saying that, but it's not very many you guys at all. Um, and I'm signing up customers all of the time. And do you know why it's because I'm sharing testimonies. I'm not sharing ads. I'm not blowing their inbox up with spammy messages, um, which are awful by the way. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> but I'm not doing those things. Um, I'm just sharing do you know that I've only ever posted my before and after pictures of myself like twice? Twice, you guys, twice. And um, I'm consistently on Amanda's top 10 PPA or 15 PPA challenge, and I've only posted my own before and after. So yes, your testimony is powerful, but people are buying these products because I'm sharing duo results. People are buying these products because I'm sharing my team's messages and their results. So I want you guys to just remember, you can do anything. And if you are a mom, you know that you can do anything. Y'all ladies, we are multitaskers at the finest and we can do anything that we need to get done. I mean, if your kid needs a school project whipped out at like, you know, in 30 minutes because they didn't tell you and it's 30 minutes till school starts, you won't have to make it happen. So you guys can do anything. I just want you guys to remember how powerful you are because I know what it's like to be so dang beaten down and distraught and not having any money and feeling like the world is sitting on your shoulders and you can't do anything. And I know that Amanda feels the same, knows the same feeling because 
even though we've been very super massively successful before in network marketing, we had a period of, oh crap. Okay. And, but you know, what happened is that a lot of people said, oh crap. And they let their lives go back to the gutter. And instead her and I decided we weren't going to let that happen. We were not going to ever go back to not having and being without and having to tell our kids no, because we didn't have instead of, because we didn't, you know, we just didn't, we just, they don't need to have everything. They don't need to be breast, but you know, <laughs> um, you know, so I want you guys to realize how powerful you are. And if you need to sit there and listen to motivational videos or, um, or audios or whatever for hours on end, I need you to realize that you are powerful and you can do anything, anything that you set your mind to, you can do it. And it's going to take one foot in front of the other but you can do it. Oh, Les Brown is amazing. Les Brown is so awesome. I'm so glad you said his name. How many minis? Okay. If you do the $100 package with the, the regular premium DFT edition, you sell six. Okay. You, you're going to get a total of eight, but you can pre-set six. I'll give you enough money. And then of course your taxes and shipping. Okay. You guys will be responsible for that. So maybe sell seven. Okay. Um, if you do eight, you can get the $200 package. If you can do, write this down. This is a really good tip. If you get the $200 package and add a box of lifestyle mix, so that's $240. Okay. So if you can sell, what would that be, Amanda? It'd be 10 that would give you 250, right? You can actually make 16 minis out of the $200 package with an extra lifestyle mix. So what that would mean is you can either sell all 16 or you could have some for yourself. Woohoo! That's what we want. We want some for ourselves. You guys remember, we want you thriving for free. So we want you guys to each have two auto ship customers buying the experience because on November the 2nd, you're going to get those credits for your entire thrive experience. Okay. Um, we do not know when, when cafe is going to launch. We won't know anything. Guys get on the call with our CEO tomorrow night. They're going to explain everything to us. So you are as clueless about that as we are. Um, I am so dang excited about it though. Since the, the mornings have been cooler, I have been like wanting a warm cup of coffee, but I thrive, so I don't need it. So I'm excited about it. Okay. The $400 package. If you pre-sell 16, you're going to have the $400 package. Okay. So that sounds like a lot, but if you get a couple of girlfriends and you're like, Hey, go grab a couple of your girlfriends and then they grab somebody, you can have just a couple of people share with a few people. All right. Or maybe somebody wants two. I do that too. If somebody's like, Hey, I think I want to do one of your trials. I'm like, how many do you want? I don't say, okay, send me $25. I ask them how many they want. And do you know that when I pre-sold that $800 package that I had about five people buy nine days worth? nine days. They bought three trials. They're like, I'm going to give it a whirl for nine days. Okay. So, um, all right, Aaron, are you on here? I want to, I want you guys to hear from these girls really quick. Cause I know Lisa has a training coming up in 20 minutes and you guys, we don't want to miss her training, but, um, is Aaron on here still? You may, you'll have to unmute hun. If you are, she may have had the jump. Okay. So let me ask you guys, I, do I give any examples of what you say to pre-sell? I just literally say, uh, you know, I ask who needs energy, who I have a special today, who wants to try thrive, you know, all the energy, all the mood support, all the mental clarity, share a couple duo before and afters. There's tons of them out there. Go to the thrive, go to the Lavelle fan page and pull up some before and after pictures and share those. Okay. Um, Aaron, are you on, or is Janelle on? Janelle. I don't know if it's Janelle or Janelle. Janelle, I'm here. You're here. Thank you for jumping on. No problem. All right. So Janelle, you guys, um, didn't buy a, she went VIP 800 and didn't even order her first package until she was, what'd you say a day before you went 4k? Yes. Jamie, um, and Thomas were running some kind of promotion like the money back and mm -hmm. it was like the very end of March and like I had to get it that day. Otherwise I wasn't going to hit the 4k and I'm like, wait, that's how much I'm short. So let me order it now. And I wind up taking advantage of the promotion for myself. So that's so incredible. So you went VIP 800 with no product in hand. So will you share how you did that? Um, 
who you talked to, was your friends and family supportive, you know, how did you have the confidence that I'm going to go VIP 800, but I don't have any minis to, to give out? Share with everybody about that. Um, cause I could, I couldn't order anything because I had to wait for my taxes to come back. That was what held me up with that. Um, I don't have family, so that was not even an option at this point. My friends are always my biz, biggest skeptics. They're like, no, it's not going to work. She's just blowing smoke up our butts, all that stuff. And so it's like, who do you go to? Well, my attitude was, I have to make this work. I have a $250 light bill that has to get paid. If I don't, then lights are getting cut off and I'm little have too much pride to ask the boyfriend, hey, can you pay this for me? So I had to do what I had to do to make things work. Um, so I just started posting things on Facebook because I was in network marketing before and it didn't work out too well. So I was just kind of following the lead of Amanda and Jamie and Lisa posting the stories. The stories is what helped me out a lot. Um, just the, bef like people's before and afters with so many different medical conditions too, but again, we're not doctors, but just seeing some of these stories was like, wow, this really does work. Um, so that's what a lot of my friends kept seeing and they kept wanting minis. Well, how do I try it? I don't want to buy a month. I don't want to buy a month. I said, well, how about this? I can get you the three day mini for $25. Um, go ahead and PayPal it and send me your address. Well, I was messaging somebody else. Hey, can you send this out for me? And I was sending them the money. Even if you don't have the products on hand, don't let that stop you. Like, you're your big, you're your biggest critic. You're going to be the one that tells yourself that you can't. So that's just me. Like I'm going to find a way to accomplish every single thing that I have on my mind. Um, I know Amanda does a lot of challenges. Like she's got this October month challenge going on and I'm trying to keep up. I really am, but I give myself certain things like to push for, like, my goal every single week is to try to hit 800. And if I hit that, then I'm going after 1600 every single week. If it's me talking to say 50 people that week, my goal is going to be, okay, give me 15 no's right off the bat on that Monday morning. Cause then I'm just going to have yeses after that. Sometimes I might have 20 no's. It just depends. I have a good week. I have a bad week, but I give myself goals of what I'm going to accomplish each week. And if you keep telling yourself that, it's not going to happen. Like I'm reading in the comments or the chat that some people, um, they don't have it to be the billboard. So share the stories and pre-sell it through your upline. I'm sure Nikki or Amanda have the many to sell for you. Like get them to PayPal it to them. Um, but yeah. So who were your first customers? How did you get them to, um, become customers with you? I don't even know who my first two customers well, were. Well, think about, just think about like those first couple customers that you um, enrolled. Like they obviously weren't family because you said you didn't have no. family to, to go to. So, exactly. and then your close friends were your biggest critics, aren't they all? It was um, really people like, because I'm big at the park. I have a 14 year old son. He plays sports galore. Um, it was two people from the park that decided, okay. What you selling now, Janelle? <laughs> kind of thing. And I told him, I said, this is what it is. You got to try it. And I'm, I hadn't tried it yet, but I'm still going to be excited about it. That's right. That's key because you know it works. Even if you've not tried it yet, you know it works. It's just like when I was watching Amanda. I watched Amanda joined in January. I didn't join Amanda um, for like six months after she joined, five months after she joined. <laughs> And, you know, I knew it worked because I trusted her. I watched her for a long time um, before I did. And you guys, that's the key is your friends are going to watch you. If they're liking your personal photos, they're watching your page. If they're liking your personal statuses, they're watching your page. If you post something about a before and after of duo or something out there, they may not like it, but guess what? They see it. Because those people that are interacting on your page, they see it. And I would say that 90% of the people that sign up with me, customer or promoter or buy a three-day mini, never like or comment on anything. And I might have to follow up with them 20 times, but eventually they're either going to block me or, and I don't follow up salesy. Um, I don't follow up like that. I just say, hey, we're, you know, now I'm not sure if this is a better time for you or not, but my upline, when Amanda's running those cash back deals, my upline's running a special of um, $25 off your order. I didn't know if, you know, you were still considering, you know, thriving with me or not. 
you know, that kind of thing that she only has a few spots left. And I just wanted to check with you. Totally no pressure. You know, I do things like that and about 10, 11, 12 times sometimes. And they're like, Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you for following up with me. Cause now is a better time. And it might take some time to do that, but you know, eventually they're going to do something. So, um, Janelle, your first two promoters, um, you know, uh, what, how did you, how did you convince I want, I, I use the word convince lightly, but how did you, you know, convince them? Everybody feels like they have to convince somebody to do something. Y'all don't have to convince them to do anything. They want money. Y'all want money. That's why you're here. They want to try your product. They want to feel better. That's why they're ordering with you. But how, how did you, um, how did they go about joining you? Well, the first one, she was under me in my previous company. And it was funny because the day, the morning I decided that I was making a change, like, it was stuck in my head. I already had it planned out like to the T of what I was going to do. She just so happened to call me that evening. She's like, I can't do this. And I said, well, this is what's going on. And she's like, I'm in. I said, okay. So I was excited. I knew I had her underneath me immediately, but that was kind of a given. So, but the next two that I had were actually two single moms. One of them is we had a boyfriend in common so at first it was awkward years ago, but now it's like me and her are good friends. And then the other one is a sister of a guy that I know from the park. And both of them, I know their financial situation because it's all over Facebook, complaining galore. And I know their situation and I didn't even reach out to them. They reached out to me. What is this? How can I get $1,300 in two weeks? Yeah. And they took off running with it. Yeah, you guys, that's the thing is that um, don't let it be all over your Facebook, the negativity that runs in your life. My life is not perfect, but I guarantee you, you're not going to see my dirty laundry on Facebook. You're just not. And you have to think of yourself like if you walked into your favorite restaurant today or your favorite store today and every single employee and the owner were bad mouthing and talking about how awful everything is in their life would that make a pleasant environment you have to remember that your facebook page is your storefront now and you have to share the highlight reel but and it was saying in the chat you guys get to an online event we did talk about that earlier tomorrow night uh, our team is hosting an online event. Get your friends and family there. Get your potentials there. People that don't know anything about it, ask them, hey, check this out for me. You know, go on here and just check it out because it's important to get them there. So Janelle, you obviously, you got your VIP 800. What, did you get 1600 too or just 800? No, I just missed that. Okay, cool. So that's okay. Um, so what did that $400 mean to you and the hundred in product credit and your commissions and fast starts? What did that mean when you saw that deposited the next week? From the VIP 800? Yeah. Oh, the 800 that when I got that, I was like thrilled floored that I got it because you always go in as your worst, like your biggest critic, like, Oh, it's not going to happen, but you got to make it there. Um, yeah. the hundred dollars, credit that went to um I gave that out as like a deal like hey I have $25 off or $10 off whatever I did so that I used to help get people in the bonus that paid my bill <laughs> so I was like yes don't have to worry about the electricity bill and I went and signed my son up for baseball there you go See, y'all, she needed $250 to pay that light bill and she made it happen. That's the thing is you got to think about right now what is so important in your life that you have to make it happen. And you guys have to get so serious that you make it happen because you can do that. You literally have a $400 bonus out there for VIP 800 and a $400 bonus out there for VIP 1600. And if you go 1600 before the end of the month and you, um, if you've not missed your 14 day window, then you're getting that extra thousand dollar bonus. You guys, that's listen, that's $1,800. Put in the comments what $1,800 would do for you and your family. I know for me, I mean, that's Christmas y'all. That's way more than Christmas. We don't even spend that much on Christmas still, but that's a Christmas paid completely paid for. So, um, you know, it's, 
$1,800, that's bills, you know, for right now, for, you know, my life now, that's like over my mortgage payment. So it's like mortgage plus some, but you know, that's the thing is that network marketing is probably the, one of the most powerful things, uh, businesses that you could be in because you get to determine how successful you're going to be by the actions that you do, by the training that you do. Like I said, in a few minutes, um, 10 minutes, Lisa Fuller has our team training. You guys, we did a, so, a, a social media training with her like two weeks ago, maybe. Um, it's all those things are all in like the level up group. Um, Amanda's always doing something to help you guys be successful and help us be successful. She's always putting promotions and different things out there. You know, she's always doing something to help you. And if you guys will just plug in and learn and grow and ask your upline for help and stop trying to do it on your own, you guys are going to do just fine. But you have to make sure that this is so important to you that you just take all excuses off the table and say, I am going to do this because I'm worth it. My family is worth it. Christmas is coming. Whatever you need to say for yourself, that's what you need to do is, um, you know, thank you so much for getting on. I know this was totally last minute and I needed, and I'm just so thankful that you got on. I needed somebody to share and I'm just thankful that you were here. Um, the biggest thing that I could say to anybody new or trying people that have been in it trying to get refocused again is if you're not posting about it or talking about it, look at it as like a gas station or a business that has a storefront. If you, if they're not advertising about it, their store's closed. So if you're not talking about it and posting about it, your business is closed. Mm -hmm. So you always have to like, whether it's me doing 10,000 miles around the neighborhood early today with my DFT on, people are going to see it. Yesterday I was on hold with um, technical support about my computer. That awkward silence on technical support, like, what are they thinking about? You know, like you start wondering, like, it's, it's really awkward. So, hey, so what else do you do besides this? And I created some random conversation. I got a free customer from that. You know, like, crazy. you have to... Figure out what works for you. Like I have a random, bubbly, goofy personality, but it's so hard for me to do a live video. Now give me a Snapchat filter. I'm good for days. You know, just find what like works for you as a person, but keep your mouth open at all times. Like that's the big thing. And if you don't ask, the answer is always going to be no from everybody. Yep. And don't assume that it's no from everybody before you ask. And even if they do tell you no, Still keep them on your list because three yep. months from now they might become a yes. Yep, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, okay, Aaron or Jody, are you guys on? I'm. I know we're gonna close this up. I know that Jody messaged and said she had to jump off, but um, I didn't know if she jumped back on. So, okay, we literally have like five minutes. Did this help anybody? Does anybody feel like they can go conquer the world now and that? you know, they want to be the broke person number two and they're going to make a difference and not let their situation become their excuse anymore. You guys, I want to know that you guys are going to go out there and do this. And even if you come in and you get the pre-sale and you buy your package or you get a customer or two and you miss that VIP 800, you guys just saw what they did. They brought the reset back. That's going to happen. But listen, it's one foot in front of the other. Okay. Nothing can stop you, but you. All right, nothing. And I just know that this has been weighing on my heart about all the free promoters that we have and how bad they want to change their situation. But I think they just need to know, you guys need to know that you can change your situation. You can. If you live in a town of 1,900 people like I do, there's people out there that can afford. I live in like literally one of the poorest counties in Tennessee. 80% of our population in my entire county are on welfare, food stamps, and WIC. That's a lot of people. And it might even be higher than that. Okay. My annual income in the area that I live in is 40 grand in the annual income for my area. It's like 18,000. Yeah. Our I mean, media, so when I mean, you look at some of these other areas, guys, um, and, and I just want you guys to know, like I and Nikki, we both came from like the area that I live in is like the smart, the poorest County in West Virginia. And Nikki lives in like one of the poorest counties in Tennessee. And what I want you guys to take from this 
is that we didn't use that as an excuse. We found a way to overcome those odds. And, and you guys, I want you to think about this. And I, I really want to leave you with this before, um, Lee, you know, before Nikki closes this out and Lisa Zoom starts, is that you guys ultimately have a choice, okay? You ultimately have a choice. You get a choice who you decide to follow in the footsteps of. You can follow in the footsteps of your friends who aren't making any extra money. You can follow in the footsteps of people that you see that are succeeding in this business. The people that are showing up day after day, pouring their hearts and souls into you guys. Take their advice. Listen to them. You know, Janelle mentioned um, the October calendar challenge. Guys, they are simple tasks. They really are. They are being intentional, friending people, um, you know, messaging people, um, being intentional, getting on some personal development. It's those basic things that will help you along the way. It's asking the questions. Um, it's, it's really just kind of being out there and being willing to put yourself out there sometimes. You know, I didn't know anything about this industry and I had to share my story earlier today. And I can tell you that I realized that because I wasn't strong and I had 200 friends on Facebook when I started with network marketing, okay? And, and all my immediate friends and family were like, yeah, right, that's a scam. Yeah, that's a joke. Like, that's just not going to work, you know? And they were waiting on me to fail. And that just fired me up even more that I started Googling. I started finding out more about attraction marketing. I started using things when I posted. I made sure I was positive. I made sure because that's what I was reading about. That's what I kept on hearing from all these other entrepreneurs was to be positive to um, to magnet to make yourself magnetic so people come to you um, to really put yourself and share like you don't even have to talk about the minis I mean you need to talk about the minis but you can literally post who needs energy and then message those people okay and you can say listen hey I've got something that could possibly help you would you be willing to take a look at this three minute video guys like Nikki said our website I, I literally, a routine, people always ask me what I ask people when they message me. I say, hey girl, listen, are you willing to take a look at this three minute video? It tells you so much more than I could put into words. And normally they say yes. And I say, great. So then they message me back and they're like, that's really awesome. I think I'd want to try. I'm like, listen, if you want to sign up as a free customer um, with me and you can also check out some awesome testimonies on the little fan page. I was like, if you want to sign up as a free customer with me, I can get you a mini out um, tomorrow morning and maybe I'll mark it for 25 or $20 or whatever if they sign up as a free customer. Um, and I'll say that to them and it's okay. I'll bite the $5 because I say then, and then if you love it, we'll We'll get you started Friday. All right, because I want you guys to realize that when you tell people, okay, we're going to get you started on this, you take that fear of them questioning or not, and then you tell them, listen, would you like to get it free next month? I can show you how. Do you have any friends that are tired? And then you get their friends involved. All right, you show them because they're the customer. You show them how they can get it for free, and in the meantime, you are growing your check. You're helping your friend and you are getting your volume up. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for getting on. I hope that you all feel inspired and that it's helped you to want to give it a go and just prove how awesome you are. And I'm going to take two minutes and I'll be just a few minutes late getting on Lisa's Zoom, um, but I will be on there. And thanks, Amanda, for letting us borrow your Zoom link and jumping on. You guys have a great night and um, go rock it out, okay?